happy Administrative Professionals Day, you guys. Happy Admin Day to all my awesome admin viewers out there. You guys rock. And so do I. <laughs> I am the proud new owner of $75 worth of Starbucks gift cards, but I did not have the donuts. So here's my outfit of the day on Admin Professionals Day. Again, so glad I get to wear what I want to work because you know I am a jeans girl and I know I've worn this top. I wore it a few times on vacation, but I have to say I love it so much. It's so flattering because of the ruffles. It just, it hides a lot. <laughs> it's, it's very cute. And you guys, Walmart, 10 bucks. It's awesome. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, so Admin Professionals Day. I, uh, today is gonna be an abbreviated day for me because I'm leaving early for the party tonight. My plan is this. I can have four glasses of champagne and very low or zero points foods. I feel pretty confident that there will be a lot of lower points foods, like probably some salad, hopefully some chicken and some fruit. I'm okay with that. You know my splurge is the champagne, so that is my plan and the rest of my day will be absolutely normal except that I really don't need a snack because I will be eating early, an early dinner, but in the event that I am not satisfied after the event, I am leaving room for one more glass of wine and um, maybe like some poached eggs, some chicken, something like that, even, oh, I don't have any yogurt. <laughs> probably poached eggs because poached eggs sound amazing so but you know there may be plenty to eat at the event and I'll be just fine so that is my plan and my strategy I'm not really worried about it at all um, okay the uh, challenge you guys I'm working on the guns buns and abs challenge for today those squats 80 squats today no no 200 yeah 200 squats and 30 push-ups so that is a ton of squats but i think i found the secret so what i'm doing is i literally set my alarm on my phone for every half hour and every half hour i'm going either into the restroom or into the file room and doing 20 squats i have done 80 so far without much problem so maybe that's the secret is really you just have to break it up um, i'm doing every half hour um, mostly all day just because I want to get them done before I go to the party and it's it's not been too hard at first it was a little difficult and then I remember that I needed to stick my butt out more my knees are cracking every time I go down but hopefully as they get used to it again then they will stop cracking so um, working on those and the push-ups I will do girly style again today on my knees at lunch I'm also running my three miles at lunch and doing 10 minutes on the rower. Admin Professionals Day is no excuse to slack on our exercise. Right? Um, so that's my workout plan. Uh, let's see, I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This weekly, and I know this is last week's weekly, but it ties in so perfectly with what I was saying yesterday about what Fat Dag was saying about not depriving yourself thin. I so 100% agree with that. And someone pointed out my non-deprivation on vacation and the weight gain that that led to. Um, I'm gonna respond to your comment, but that is actually a completely separate kind of issue um, because that was a two week non-deprivation episode. So, and, and I, I mean, that's not my regular MO and that's not how I usually do things. I don't deprive myself, but I don't go that long eating things that I want. So in my eyes, that's completely different. Um, but this, um, I just feel like if you deprive yourself, I know for me, this is my preference. If I deprive myself, it backfires so much. And apparently that's true for a lot of people because this is what Weight Watchers has to say about it. I wanted to read some of this to you guys because I so agree. 
So in the weekly it says swearing off of favorites like bagel, bagels, ice cream, gummy bears are your favorite can backfire. When we deprive ourselves of certain foods, we're more likely to crave and overeat them than if we didn't banish them. And that is totally me for the most part with most of my foods um, or most of the foods I crave, which yeah, we've gone over that. <laughs> um, if I banish them completely, I would go crazy overboard on them. And also, it's a mind thing too, because it's not just um, it's not just that I would not have them for a while and then I would overeat them. But my mind plays so many tricks, and if I did go that route, then I would feel so upset and so depressed and so down. It would just lead to a big cycle, and it would take me further and further and further down a road that I don't want to go. So if I can just learn to balance those items and um, keep them in my diet in very much moderation, then I personally am better off. So, and I think that this works for most people. So instead of banning high risk foods, you can choose to eat them when you plan for when where and how to do so. That way you're prepared to either not eat or overdo it when you encounter them. Does that make sense? So I absolutely plan my splurges. I plan every day. And if I decide I want to have, um, usually my my splurges or my, my things that um, I don't want to deprive myself of, they're usually centered around an event because we always have a lot of things going on. Um, we're going to Disneyland or to California Adventure or like today with a party or we're, we're meeting up for someone for bowling. Um, it's always usually centered around an event and um, so that's kind of how I base my, we'll call them splurges, but I don't see them as splurges because I work them into my plan. So then Weight Watchers has a plan for fitting in favorites. So this is kind of like a step-by-step -step thing and this is pretty much what I do is actually plan plan it every step of the way. So number one, what will you eat? What is it that you're craving or you're, what is it that you're not having that is making you feel deprived? Determine how you'll fit this food into your budget, what size portion you will eat, and how many smart points is it? How can you use the flexibility you have with rollovers and zero points foods? And this to me is where the numbers game comes in. And I am always fidgeting with the numbers, adding more of this, subtracting some of that, um, reworking this, how can I stretch that? Um, I'm, it's like a numbers game to me and I'm always trying to figure out how to get the most bang for my buck, but still eat what I wanna eat. So um, that's the numbers portion of it. And then number two, where will you eat it? If you worry about overeating, just buy a single serving and eat it away from home. That is a huge tip. That is huge. And I also recommend that for other family members. And I love, love, love that Eddie doesn't really eat a lot of um, tempting foods around me or in front of me. Um, when he does, we either do it together or I choose something different. But if he's craving something and he wants to have something, he'll go outside of the home and have it. So it's not something that we have to do together or that we have to have at home tempting me or we don't have like giant boxes of uh, candy and, and tempting foods. So I love that. If you're worried about overeating it, buy a single serving and eat it away from home. If your high risk food is chocolate cookies, buy one at a stand in the mall. Don't make a big batch at home. Just go buy one, eat it, enjoy it, and then move on. Um, or you can bring cookies to a friend's house and leave the rest of them with your friend. So um, number three, when will you eat it? Will you eat it after dinner, on your night out, or will you eat it on Saturday when you're at the mall? Just, I plan um, pretty much all my days. So if I'm going to have a little splurge like that, I will absolutely plan when I'm gonna have it because I need to work the points into that specific day or week. And number four, with whom will you eat it? Food is often best enjoyed with others and eating high risk food in company can minimize shame or self-criticism. So I love that weekly um, because I really, really swear by the non-deprivation way of losing weight. You can have it all, 
just not all at once. You can fit it in, you just have to do the math. You can have whatever you want, maybe just have a smaller portion. So I absolutely 100% agree with that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And now I must go back to work and do more squats. <laughs> um, so I won't be checking in with you guys on my second walk break. There will be no second walk break. Um, but I will touch base with all of you guys online. I am back to answering my comments, hopefully very regularly. Who knows what the weekend will bring, but I will try to stay up on my comments for the weekend as well. I do have to say, if you asked me something while I was on vacation for those two weeks, and it's a specific question that you still want or need to know the answer to, please ask me again, um, because I would be happy to answer you, and I'm, I, Thought about trying to go back through all the comments but two weeks worth of comments could be hours <laughs> for me so if you ask something and you still really want to know please ask me again and I'll talk to you in the comments <laughs>